Hello Saturday, I hope you all are doing well for today. My name is Naki. So I'm going to be hopping right into y'all energy. I want you all to take that feed to leave what this is. If anything does resonate with you, hit that like button, comment, subscribe to the channel. Squat rolls if needed. Also says thank you, thank you, thank you for the love, likes, comments. Thank you for the support. Thank y'all for everything that y'all do to help the channel grow. I really love and appreciate you all. All right, Sarah, so we had this card that fell out. <clears throat> so that could be some sort of disharmony or conflict between you and someone. Okay, let's see. Let me just decide. Okay, so someone wants to put back the pieces of the puzzle together with you. Something that was broken, some sort of disharmony or constant conflict. Someone wants to start tending to, to you or tending to a connection, right? Someone wants some sort of union now. You could be a divine feminine, or this could be a divine feminine. Just take it how it fits. Energy for Sag. So, yeah, so someone someone wants to start tending back to a connection. Now, you are focusing on yourself because there could be some sort of separation or disharmony in a connection. So, you are getting the messages to focus on your self-care. Whether that's you getting your hair done, just being at peace, going to a spa, doing some travel, right? So, you're getting the clarity that you need to focus on you for your higher self, right? Uh, this could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here, okay? Present day who wants to focus on you. Like, this person is very grateful for you. Um, I feel like this person cares about you. And they're going to start making a decision to focus on you as soon as you make a decision to start focusing on yourself. This person is going to want some sort of uh, union with you. Now, you could be a masculine, just very intuitive, loving, and caring. Or you could be a feminine, and this can involve a masculine. Just take it how it fits. But I do see here that someone wants to tend to this connection now. After some sort of constant aggression, argument. Uh, let's see. We got a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn here. Maybe someone could even be having some sort of disunion with someone who they are in a connection with. Maybe they made a decision to be with a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn or Gemini Libra Aquarius and not tend to you. But they're having a lot of disharmony and conflict and this person constantly triggers them. So they are going to start reaching out to you for union here soon. What's the energy? Yeah, they want to reunite with you. Okay, so yeah. Um, I don't know if it's you guys that's having the disagreements or if they're having disagreements with someone else, but they definitely want to come in and tend to this connection. They want to cater to you. They want to focus on you. They really appreciate you now. Okay, maybe it took them to have to separate from you or it took them to have to go be with someone else to realize that, you know, they want to be with you. All right, what's the energy for? Yeah, so I feel like... Whoever this person is, if they are with someone, is very manipulative. Maybe they were very manipulative in the connection. Maybe this is someone who likes to start arguments here, okay? Um, I feel like this is your energy. You are very enlightened to what's going on in the connection with, with this person, okay? But they do want to change things around. There could be some sort of divorce. They're going to be leaving someone here or divorcing someone. Um, but they do want to come in now and give you some sort of justice. They do want to come and heal things with you. What's the energy for Sagittarius? They want to pour into you now. Okay, so they don't necessarily have to be with someone else, but they definitely see now that they want to be with you. Maybe they put a guard up. Maybe they were. Uh, it was hard to deal with this person because they were very argumentative. Okay, again, we got an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. Um, I feel like this person has been trapped in their head. Maybe you are putting a guard up now. Okay, but they definitely want to come in and work with you. They could be also trapped in their head about work too. Uh, but they do see you as a divine connection. They see you as someone who they want to commit with. What's the energy for Sagittarius? Some of these people could have even gotten some sort of health issue um, dealing with someone else here. 
okay maybe it took them a long time to realize this but now they want to come in and work with you very burdened very stressed maybe they could be stressing about bills or something or money here in a commitment okay but i feel like with you you are like a very positive energy i feel like you have been pouring into yourself you've been focused on positive things you've been focused on healing you've been following the messages you've been following the guidance and that's been breaking some sort of balance into your life right and they want to come in and reunite with you because they see you as their happiness. They don't want to be without you, okay? Um, you guys can have a child together. Oh, what's the energy? They are watching you extremely hard here. Just thinking about you. Okay, this emperor. This could be someone older. I feel like they definitely were juggling you. If they are in a connection with an uh, air sign or an uh, earth sign, they both are watching you here. These people could even be um, fighting. I don't know, but they want to cut this person out. They don't. They want. They don't want to juggle you anymore, or they don't want to have this aggressive communication with you anymore. They really want to work on things. I feel like for some of these people, they could have been stressing because of their financial stability. Uh, some of these people are going to get a job, and it's going to cause them to be much more happier when it comes to you. But you're going to be kind of already scarred because you're going to see this person as toxic, right? So some of you all are already in the process of moving forward towards your happiness. Like you know what you want now. You know uh, what what's going to bring you in happiness. And for some of y'all, it's not with this person. And for some of y'all, it is, right? But they are very, um, they've been very stressed about finances. Whoever they are with, if they are with someone else, uh, very low on money, stressing about bills. Uh, they're with someone extremely toxic here. Uh, this could be an Aries, a Capricorn, a Taurus, a Pisces. Okay, another Sag, a Gemini, Aquarius. Let's take it how it fits. Possible Libra here. What's the energy for Sagittarius, please? So they, they're tired of the arguing and they are wanting to uh, make things right with you, whether they are arguing with someone else or they are arguing with you. Uh, this could have been a ladies' man. This is someone who could have liked to play the field. They were not ready to commit. Uh, they were not ready to take anyone serious. They could have been stringing you along at one point with the rival. Okay, but they're seeing now that this rival is extremely toxic. Uh, this rival had a very strong influence on your person. Um, and I feel like you just chose to focus on yourself. Uh, you chose to put yourself first, make healthy choices, and bring balance back to your life. And that causes, that's causing them a tower. Some of these people could have even been dealing with same sex here, okay? But there was some sort of love affair that they got themselves into, and then they got stuck in it, and then they regretted it, okay? They, they deeply regretted dealing with this rival or they feel guilty for cheating or they feel guilty for the constant arguments um i feel like for some of these people they have been trying to get advice from friends as i stated not all people but some people could have been caught up where they were in um same sex here right um but i feel like yeah they could have gotten caught dealing with same sex or they could the, they could have caught the rival dealing with multiple people um, something is happening here with this person where they are realizing that they have to make a change and they're realizing that they want to be with you once they make this change. They're going to start following their heart here, okay? Because I feel like this person never stopped loving you. They are very desperate for your love and they can't let you go. Uh, they have a fear that you are really walking away from them and just choosing to be single or focus on you. Now, they could be with this rival who is extremely desperate here for them uh, where they had a hard time letting this rival go because they didn't want to hurt this rival here, right? Um, this is your twin flame for some of you all. You guys have a soul connection or there was an instant yearning. Um, there's an instant yearning to reconnect with you, right? I feel like there's a lot of fighting going on where they're at right now, okay? A lot of arguing and they are ready to walk away from this. They are ready to leave this rival behind, maybe in a love triangle. They are just tired of the emotional mess. They both could have been with each other, the rival and your person, for financial reasons, sex for money, or in a relationship for money, or personal benefit. But they are not sold on that anymore. They are ready to walk away. Um, 
they have a lot of doubt and confusion when it comes to getting back with you. They don't know where things stand. But home is where the heart is. Maybe you guys have some sort of home or family dynamic. Uh, but you feel like home to them, okay? Maybe they were living with this rival or moved in together with this rival or being sneaky at night here, okay? Um, but they want to put the pieces back together with you. But I feel like you are fed up, okay, because maybe they stayed gone too long and maybe they let the rival manipulate them to where they was arguing with you or fighting with you, right? But now they're feeling manipulated because now they're saying that this rival has been dealing with other people behind their back. They're saying that this rival is trash now, okay? Um, they could have some sort of sexual dis uh, sexual addiction or maybe they had a lot of frequent sexual encounters or it could be this rival having frequent sexual encounters with people at night giving them half-truths. This rival could be meeting up with people online or they could have met this rival online. Okay, but they do want to come back in and tell you that they're sorry because this rival, I mean, when it comes to the communication, they cuss each other out like dogs. Okay, one more card for sad. Yeah, and they're ready to give you answers now. They don't want you to give up, and they do want a new beginning. Now, for some of you all, you guys have already walked away from this person. You're taking that ring off. You're you're choosing to focus on you, and I feel like there's a new beginning close for you. But then this person is going to try to come back in wanting to reunite, right? But if anything resonates with you, Sag, hit that like button, comment, subscribe to the channel, Swat Rose if needed. And until next time, bye.